Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell saying he might take another run at repealing Obamacare if the Republicans hold on to control of the House. McConnell calling the failed repeal effort the one disappointment of this Congress saying, if we had the votes to completely start over, we'd do it. But that depends on what happens in a couple weeks. We're not satisfied with the way Obamacare is working. I'm joined now by John James, Republican Senate candidate from Michigan, and it's great to have you on the show. We've been talking this hour about how health care in the latest Fox News poll is the number one concern of the people polled, saying that is the tops the economy, um, but it's close. Uh, are you hearing that out on the campaign trail? Absolutely. Healthcare is absolutely uh, one of the most important things that's facing this country. We need to make sure that we have a market-based, patient-centered approach that must cover pre-existing conditions. And whatever vote that I vote for needs to have a plan to have tort reform and regulatory reform in a manner that lowers costs while increasing quality of care, a way that increases transparency and competition to get the best care for folks. Mm -hmm. I think the biggest problem is, is, is coming forward without a plan. We need to make sure we have a plan because I don't think that people love Obamacare as much as they're afraid of losing health care. Health care is very important and we need to make sure that we empower doctors and patients, mm. not insurance companies in the federal government. Yeah, I'm sure, I, I bet you're hearing it, a lot of it. It was interesting in that Fox News poll as well. Um, of course, we know that Republicans and Democrats quite polarized. People feel strongly negative about both parties. But um, Obamacare actually f more favorable at 53 percent than either uh, the Democratic Party, the Republican Party, or President Trump. And that's really interesting because in 2010, during that midterm, mm -hmm. Obamacare was what really brought all of those Republicans into power. I mean, again, uh, how do you run about repealing and replacing and have a plan to do neither when you get there? Mm -hmm. I think that people still remember when the previous administration said, if you like your health care, you can keep it. If you like your doctor, you can keep them. And that ended up being a lie. I think people still remember when Nancy Pelosi stood up there and said, we have to pass it to see what's in it. That wasn't a plan. I'm a business leader, and I understand that for business leaders and families, premium prices went up 90 percent between 2014 and the spring of 2017. That's unsustainable. But again, Health care is extremely important, and we need to make sure that we're not pulling the rug out from under people. We mm -hmm. need to execute and get results in a manner that Debbie Stabenow is not. I know that you're out there campaigning every day. The Real Clear, average, uh, Real Clear Politics average has the Michigan Senate race now with Debbie Stabenow, the incumbent, or, I'm sorry, not incumbent, she's the congressman, 53.8% uh, to your 375 Now, that's just the average. I'm sure you're seeing some different numbers internally. Do you have a way in the next 19 days to overcome that deficit? Well, absolutely. Uh, the most recent poll release, uh, we have cut our, um, her lead to single digits, uh, and we doubled her in fundraising last quarter, her 1.8 to our 3.6, and our cash on hand is just about even. But the thing is, we have a message that's resonating. Everybody's talking about a blue wave, but people are discounting the undercurrent of people in the state of Michigan who not only voted for Donald Trump, who won Michigan, but Bernie Sanders. People here who are working hard every single day and increasingly see Washington and Debbie Stabenow as a face of the elite, the face of people who uh, have forgotten about them. I'm looking forward to representing everyone, not just the people who I agree with, and bringing change because it seems like both parties are pointing the fingers at each other and no one's getting things done. I believe yeah. that by uh, getting out there and fighting hard uh, and getting above the partisanship, that's the message that people truly want. Not red or blue, but red, white, and blue. Do you, uh, do, is President Trump going to come rally in Michigan for you? Well, I've invited him. I've invited Kanye West. We had a great <laughs> rally yesterday with uh, Donald Trump Jr., Kim Guilfoyle, Kid Rock, Ted Nugent played the national anthem. We had 4,000 people in North Oakland County, and that's just emblematic of the, of the momentum that we have going to this race. It's not about me. It's about we. It's, it's not about the candidacy. It's about the people. And I'm looking forward to representing all the people well in Washington, just like I fought for Americans when I was in Iraq. All right. Um, well, thank you for your service as well. John James, thanks for being here.